Welcome back to Cryptodynamics, the smallest cryptocurrency channel in all the interwebs. Today we're going to talk about Silica and the reason why I keep talking about this specific coin is because this is going to do a 10x more likely than not. I know that most people watching this video are in the United States. This is one of my top 10 picks. You know, you have to strike the right balance between risk and reward. If you go too heavy on risk, you're not going to make any money. And then if you go heavy on the reward side to ensure that you do get a reward, then it's going to be a smaller reward. If you take a look at the market capitalization of Silica, it has only $1.2 billion in market cap and it has a circulating supply of 57%. Understand that $1.2 billion, pretty much $1,200 million. This is a small market capitalization. When we look at things like, for example, Tesla, that thing is like $999 billion. Tesla is one of the biggest companies in the United States. There's a lot of headroom here to make insane gains. If you are a professional trader, sign up to Bybit and get up to $3,500 in bonus. If you live in the United States, check out Binance US. Here you can trade upwards of 50 cryptocurrencies, including Silica. We're going to start sweet and simple with the most critical pattern in the immediate short term. If you want to become a trader, if you plan to invest in the markets, you need to make sure to understand technical analysis. Fundamental analysis is important as well. Oftentimes, if you're not able to identify when to sell or when to buy something, you're not going to do very well. And that is something you accomplish by learning technical analysis. Here in blue on the daily time frame, we have a symmetrical triangle. This has been a pattern of consolidation for over 305 days. Now consolidation is basically price action staying within a price range. Therefore, you say the price is consolidating. What we see in this specific pattern is that we're consistently making lower highs, lower high here, lower high, lower high. That's not so bad because at the same time, we're also making higher lows, higher low here, higher low, higher low, and higher low. Oh, sure, lows and highs, who cares? You need to understand this is a byproduct of investors' behavior. Imagine this, we have the bears and the bulls going into battle and pretty much the price is not moving. When the price is consolidating, what we see is a reduction in volatility. Volatility is my best friend. You need volatility in order to make money. When something goes, you know, 100% gain in one day, that is a huge expansion in volatility. As the price gets pushed further inside of this triangle, we see a huge reduction in volatility. Once we do go outside of the triangle, eventually we will see an expansion in volatility. Just like any other pattern, this has a price target of approximately 28 cents for silica. From the current price of around 10 cents all the way up to 28 cents, that is approximately a 176% move. Ah, that's not enough. I want more. I want a thousand X. You also have to put things in perspective. The average annualized return in the stock market, if you get into some index is going to be around 8% on a good day. So you guys have to come back to earth and realize that a 200% gain, a 5x, a 10x is a gift from heaven. I know most of you are going to be leaving right now. Oh, what do you say? 28 cents? Bye. I'm a short-sighted investor. I only care about what's going to happen tomorrow. And that's how you get wrecked, guys. So make sure to watch this whole video. This is not one of those tests you can cheat on. You cannot cheat on this test. You will fail if you don't do your homework. This is now the weekly time frame. We are testing the 50 moving average, which is my blue line. But we also have a small pattern going on right here just outside of the triangle. Here on the daily time frame, we have a small rising broadening wedge. We are now testing the support line. If we end up breaking to the downside, the way to get the price target say that we break down right now. You're going to take a measurement from bottom to top and then you're going to move this down to the point of the 
breakdown. So if we had a breakdown at this point, this would have a price target of approximately six cents. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. We have to see a decisive breakout first. Say that we go below then come back up and we find rejection eventually breaking lower that would confirm the breakout in the same way say that the price goes back up to this level and then it does break higher in that case we're gonna take a measurement from this point what it breaks out down to the bottom of this pattern and we're gonna place this at the point of the breakout this is a lot of speculation we have not yet seen a decisive breakout but maybe this could bring the price up to around 18 cents for silica to make sure you're paying attention right now this is so crucial anytime we have a decisive breakout out of a triangle like this one that has lasted forever it is a nearly perfect symmetrical triangle what usually happens is that the price breaks out of this triangle but then it comes back down to retest the top line of this blue triangle that is something we have already done but what i want to point out here is that once the price went above pretty much this candle right here that's something you can see over here look at the volume guys look at that volume that's not by coincidence obviously some wells they notice this and they gather buy orders in they have patience they know we're likely to come back down because that is what the price does we don't get a confirmation on when we just go straight to heaven right there are gonna be some difficulties along the way if trading was easy everybody under grandmother would be doing it if you're one of those viewers that actually has some stamina and you don't have the attention spam of a fly I'm gonna show you how to use one of the most important tools when it comes to trading. This is called the Fibonacci extension. The way I'm gonna use it now is to predict future price targets. We obviously had an uptrend this whole time, right? Then we had a blow of top. We enter a downtrend and eventually a reversal out of that downtrend. So the way I'm gonna take this measurement is from top to bottom so the highest point for silica was approximately 25 cents i'm gonna measure from 25 cents all the way down to the most recent low which was approximately five cents what we get here is a series of price targets the reason we have a one a number one over here is because this is measured in percentage points if we go back up to that 25 cent level the price will have recovered 100 percent because we did have this crash but if we go back up to 25 cents we will have a 100 percent recovery so that's what it stands for say that we only go back up to that 21 cent level this would be approximately a 78 percent recovery but that's boring what numbers are we actually going to be seeing during all coin season this is based on the most likely scenario a high probability setup it doesn't mean that it will have happen or that it won't happen it means that this is likely to happen and so we have multiple price targets the one I want to talk about is the ultimate target which is going to be 92 cents for silica at the 423 extension level and you guys need to understand traders love they freaking love even numbers if we get to 92 cents we're likely gonna run to that dollar area from the price of 10 cents all the way up to one dollar that is almost a 900 percent gain and the reason this is crucial is because some people have no idea of how to do technical analysis and say that we get a pump to maybe 38 cents and they sell everything and then it goes to a dollar and they're like oh man I wish I would have known. Well, this is how you could have known if you actually knew how to do some technical analysis. And I know this may look or sound confusing at the beginning because that is exactly how it was for me. But the more you do it, the easier it becomes. Practice makes perfection. And so you should absolutely not be afraid about price action. You should be going on your own charts and drawing patterns and trying to get to your own conclusions. When you're just starting out, you're going to need some guidance. Technical analysis is going to allow you to buy the bottoms, sell close to the tops. And this is vital, guys. And remember, here you get the most alpha and hardcore technical analysis on your favorite altcoin. 
make sure to hit the thumbs up or you're gonna have bad luck investing. Consider subscribing to the channel and join the 1% club. That's what we aim to do here, guys. The other 99%, they're not willing to do the work they rather stay in their comfort zone, not learn about technical analysis. And that's all I do here. If you want to see more of this content, subscribe. And I'll see you on the next up.